Right, this is um, the 30th of November, and I want to uh, look at the parable of the sower with uh, everyone. So, thank you for listening to my videos, and uh, I thank you for being here with me. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to bless everyone that hears the sound of my voice, everyone, that this message goes out and touches the heart of the hearer, that they'll never be the same again, that they'll look at your word differently, that they'll dig in, and they'll want to learn more. In Jesus' name, I ask you to make everyone that's listening to the sound of my voice, mighty warriors for you. Touch the internet. Touch people that even click on this video if they like, share, subscribe, post, and repost, so your word can go out and penetrate more and more and more and more people's hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ, make us mighty warriors for you and strong in the faith. Amen. Now, the name of this is, uh, just because I can't see the growth doesn't mean that it's not growing. And, it, uh, and we're going to look at the parable of the sower. Which I think is really an interesting thing. So once again, this is for the YouTube channel, Knowledge for the Glory of God, and it's to help spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and help hurting people. Obviously, you keep uh, what's relevant and toss out the rest. In Jesus' name, thank you. Father, touch my eyesight and my speech. In this room that stays quiet and everything is focused on you, that we're not interrupted in Jesus' name. Okay. So first off, we found the parable of the sower. In uh, Matthew chapter 13, 1 to 23, Luke chapter 8, verses 4 to 15, Mark chapter 4, verses 1 to 20. All right, so we're going to look right now at Matthew chapter 13, verses 1 to 23. I find this really interesting. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for showing me. Um, Matthew chapter 13. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. Once again, I forgive me if I blind you with my light. Um, Matthew chapter 13. Verses 1 to 23. The same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside, and a great uh, multitude were gathered together unto him, so that he went into a ship and sat, and the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a, a sower went forth to sow, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. And some fell on stony places where they had not much earth, and, bring, and forthwith they sprang up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell uh, among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them. And others fell onto good ground and brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some uh, sixteenfold, and some thirtyfold. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. For whosoever has to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance. But whosoever has not from him shall be taken away, even that he hath. Therefore speak I to them in parables, because they seen because they see and see not, and he, they, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. <clears throat> and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which saith, uh, By hearing ye, he, ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. 
and for this people's heart is waxed gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed least at any time they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and should understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them but blessed are your eyes for they see your ears for they hear for verily I say unto you that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When any one heareth the word of the kingdom and understandeth it not, then cometh the wicked one and, and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received seed by the wayside. But he that received the seed on, onto stony places... The same is he that heareth the word, and, and anon, with joy receive it. Now that word, anon, A-N-O-N, A-N-O-N, anon, means immediately. So immediately, uh, with joy, they receive it. And he has no root in him, but desireth, but uh, <clears throat> do it for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, by and by he is offended. And also he that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the cares of this world, which means his life, and the deceitfulness of, the, of riches choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. But he that receives seed unto the good, um, on, into the good ground is he that heareth the word and understandeth it which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some hundredth fold and some six, sixty fold and some thirty okay so we're going to look at that for a minute let me lay this over here for a second okay so uh verses 19 we're going to dissect this a, dissect this a little bit okay verse 19 says um he hears the word the person hears the word, but doesn't understand it. And then Satan comes and takes what he does have, which is just the seed, but he doesn't understand it. But to me, this is tell, this is saying he didn't even go bother. He didn't bother to go ask for understanding. Or Jesus would have given him understanding like he did with his disciples. Okay, that's one thing, one way to look at it. So... The person's the same. He goes off on his way, and he's not changed. Okay? Then you got the uh, person in verses 20 to 21. Okay, he received the word right away, immediately, <clears throat> but he had no root. He had no depth of, of the seed. The seed wasn't far enough into the ground to sprout. So so uh, when he got offended, or tribulations came, persecutions came, uh, he, he just... He, he just abandoned what he'd learned. He abandoned the gospel. He abandoned Jesus. Oh, I don't know you. I don't know Jesus. And somebody says, look, you must be one of his disciples. Well, the difference between that person and, and Peter, when Peter said, when Peter denied Christ those three times, Christ just told him he would do it, but he also said, that Christ also told him he would pray for him, that when, his, when he had been sifted, when he had been tried and tested, that he that Peter would come back stronger, and he did. Praise God that Peter asked for forgiveness. Okay, <clears throat> that's awesome. Thank you, Jesus. So you got those people that uh, when 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 offenses come, they'll walk away. We don't want to be that way. <clears throat> okay, in twenty two, verse twenty two, you got the person that received the word, and. And uh, and he received it with gladly. Gladly he received it. Okay? It doesn't say if he really understood it or not, but he received it. So he must have understood it to a degree, you would think. Um, but the cares of this world will pull him away. In other words, Satan started having him look at, what can I get? What can I do? Where can I go? Uh, how can I better myself? Instead of looking at Jesus, because in John 3, 30, if you remember, he, we're told that we must decrease and Jesus must increase. 
Remember, that's what that's what uh, that's what John told his disciples that were asking about Jesus. So hallelujah to that. So um, he received the word. So anyhow, he didn't get anything. He just stopped doing it because he start took his eyes off Christ, and he started looking at the word. So if you look at John ten ten, and we're going to do that. Look at John chapter ten verse ten. John chapter 10, verse 10. And the thief cometh not but to, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So we can see that the thief comes to nothing else but to steal, kill, and destroy, to take your blessing away, in other words. Whoa. So this reminds me of what Jesus said in John 6, 26. I'm going to look at this. John chapter 6, verse 26. Go back to the left a little bit. John chapter 6, verse 26. Jesus answered them and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Seek me, not because ye seek me, not because of the miracles, but because ye did eat of the loaves and were filled. Boy, that's a, uh, a rebuke if I heard one at all. You know, Jesus is telling these people, Ye seek me not because of the miracles, but because you did eat of the loaves and were filled. Whoa. I don't want to be that person that only seeks him for what he can give me. I want all he can got. I, all he has, yes. And I'm seeking after all he has. I want all he has. Hallelujah. That's what we're meant to do. We're kingdom citizens now. Once you accept Christ, your DNA changes to perfect. You are kingdom citizens. You are seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus in a spiritual realm. Just because you can't see it with these eyes doesn't mean it's not happening in the spirit realm. Just like I said with the sower, parable of the sower, just because you didn't see it growing, you don't see a plant growing, or because you put a seed in the ground and you don't see it uh, sprouting under the earth and growing and growing under the earth, Producing root in the earth does not mean that it's not growing. Hallelujah for that in Revelation 2. Um, so also in verse 32, we realize, uh, Matthew verse 30, uh, 23, I mean, uh, he received the word, understood it, his fruit showed it. He understood it. Hallelujah. Um then in other words, uh, your Holy Spirit will know if, that's, if, uh, if this person's got Holy Spirit. You will know because your Holy Spirit will confer that they've got it. And also you watch and you wait and you listen and you learn. And, and when they start doing things that are of the fruit, like love and joy and peace and helping others and praying for others and loving others and... You know, thinking about others before themselves. That's the fruit of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for that revelation. Okay? So, we're going to look at uh, Luke chapter 6, verse 43 to 45. Luke chapter 6. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Luke 6. Uh, verses 30 verses 43 to 45 Luke 6 43 to 45 Luke 6 I need to get my sticky fingers out because I keep on doing out of my tongue Ugh. 6 43 to 45 okay for a good tree bringeth not forth corrupt fruit neither do a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit for every tree is known by his own fruit. For of thorns men do not gather figs, nor of a bramble bush gather they grapes. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bring forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. Remember, look. Watch, observe, wait, and to see what their fruit is before you go running after them and, and believe in what they say. And then even after that, don't believe in what they say. Don't believe what I say. You look it up. I'm showing you scripture, so you look it up for yourself in the word. Hallelujah.
Thank you, Father. So, so in fact, I say, see how important understanding is because the word talks about this also. So we're going to look at Proverbs uh, chapter 4, verse 7. Ooh, back here. Proverbs in the Old Testament chapter 4, verse 7. Oh, Father, so good. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for letting us study your word. Thank you for waking us up another day to see your creation. Hallelujah, and learn your word. Proverbs 4, 7. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. With all thy getting, get understanding. See how important it is? With all thy getting, get understanding. He wouldn't have said it if it wasn't important. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for the revelation. Ask Father God for revelation, understanding, revelation, wisdom, revelation, direction, revelation, experience. Oh, hallelujah. Revelation, understanding. Hallelujah. So once you receive the word, uh, you don't want to stay in that position. So you don't want to stay. You want to keep on going, pushing and pushing and pushing. I have to look at that. I don't think I put. In fact, I, I really don't think I put up my lesson on. Uh, uh, no, I did. I put one up on uh, a video up on. Uh, uh, specifically, it was about Elisha. Also, it was a. a it was uh, from the time Elisha met Elijah, onward. So we we'll have to look at that video too. Okay, so like I said, you don't want to stay in that position. You want to learn more. We're going to look at Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 and 8. Matthew 7, verses 7 and 8. Matthew 7, verses 7 and 8. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asks receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Hallelujah. And thank you for that promise, Father. Thank you, Father. The meaning, the original meaning to the seek, it means to continue to seek, continue to knock, continue to ask. And you continue seeking and continue not continue asking until you see, until you see the desires of your heart. And that's another thing. You want to make sure you're in his will. Well, if you have Holy Spirit living in you, you want to do and you want to say what he does. You want what he wants. You want what your creator wants. You're not going to want to go out there and hurt everybody else. In fact, since you've accepted Christ, the only thing that you're, you're expected of under the new covenant, and Jesus says it himself, to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. Don't let anybody fool you that you got to go back and you got to learn all 630 whatever uh, uh, laws that the uh, Jews, in fact, most of them still observe. You know, that's a lie of Satan. And you don't have to go back and learn their ordinance and learn all this other stuff. It's good to know the Old Testament and it's good to know the hermeneutics about it. But, you know, even with that, there's... Okay, I'm not a scholar, so I, I know no way unless God oh, unless opens up the other 90% of my brain which is possible now, <laughs> we know that, and lets me understand and absorb the traditions, the laws, the, the way that they were, the culture, the area over there, and absorb all that. But that's not what he's asking us to do. We're on this side of the cross. We're in grace right now, which means you accept Christ. Just like Romans 10, 13 and John 3, 16. He that accept Christ, he calls. Anyone that calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved. At the time that you have called upon the name of Jesus and accepted him as your Savior, your DNA changed to perfect. You're now an ambassador for him. You have citizenship and in, in kingdom, in kingdom of God, and you have citizenship on the earth. You are the hands and feet because Jesus said, I go with my Father, and you will do great, greater works than I did. The reason why we would do greater works than he did is because there's more of us. More of us to do the works that he did. He can only walk so far. 
He took on the form of a of of a of a servant. Oh, that's why that's why uh, the story of Elisha touched my heart so much because it reminded me of that. It reminded me of what Christ did. You know, Elijah was a servant. He was top dog. You answered to him. He was wealthy. He was a son of a wealthy parents, a wealthy landowners. So yes, he left his wealth. He left his his mighty position, his cushy position to to uh, to be the servant, to be a servant, to be an apprentice, to be a disciple, to be a student, to take care, like I said, to be a servant of Elijah. And Elijah was a mighty man that taught him. I, mean, I, I, I hope that you go back and listen to that study. As that That is just awesome. Awesome revelation there. Okay? So like I said, the seek, knock, and, and uh, ask. You continue. In the original language, it means to continue. Continue doing this. Continue. Continue. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So when I was looking for uh, Hebrews Chapter 11, verse 12, I stumbled upon, actually, and I got that mixed up. I, I looked at uh, Hebrews 6, chapter 6, verse 11, and then I realized, hey, that, 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 hey, that, that really does say something. Of course it does. Holy Spirit's good. Awesome. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. So we will look at that. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 11. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 11. 11. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. That word end is end of the age. End of the age. Or end of until you are taken out. Until your time is up here on earth and you're you're taken out. Or until Christ comes back if you're here. Or until Christ calls his church out. So however you want to look at that. Until the end. Until I am done. Hallelujah. Not until I am done. Until Father God's done with me. Until my mission is finished. We're all here for a mission. Some just haven't realized it. Open their eyes, Father. So we're going to look at that. And then also... Um, it says the, the uh, uh, Hebrews eleven six. So let's go on back down to Hebrews. Go a couple couple pages to eleven, uh, chapter eleven, verse six. Hebrews chapter eleven, verse six. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he cometh to God, that for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And I didn't understand that. I'm going to read that again. But without faith, it is impossible to please God, Jesus. That him is God. That him is Jesus. Hallelujah. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. And then that would really make sense of Matthew 7. 7 to 8, Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 to 8, where he says to seek, knock, and ask. Or, you know, you continue to seek, continue to knock, continue to ask. You will find, seek, knock, and you'll find. Ask, seek, knock, and you'll find. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for that. Thank you, Father, for that. So be diligent. Don't be content. And you see, even in Elijah, Elisha's life, he was not content. He was told several times, stay here. Stay in this cushy place. And Elijah did take him to where he was respected. And he was well taken care of. And he would be in a cushy place. He said, no, 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 no. As my Lord lives, as you, he's say, talking to Elijah now. As you live and as I live. No, I will not leave. So he, as a result, he got a double portion of of what Elijah had, what Elijah had the anointing, and he got, Elisha got a, dub, uh, got a double portion of his anointing, hallelujah, so we keep on going, we keep asking, we keep knocking, we keep seeking, till we find, because we do not know what is going on under the earth, behind the scenes, in our, in another person's spirit, we don't know, but spirit will reveal it, hallelujah, 
So we continue to praise God until we see the desired results. Like I said, upward, you continue. You're not content. You're continuing to praise him. Remember to praise him and thank him and keep a grateful heart, a thankful heart. Okay, like we're going to look at, uh, there's just, I think there's two more here. Uh, Psalms chapter 30, verse 2. Psalms chapter 30, verse 2. Psalms chapter 30, verse 2. Hallelujah. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast heard me. <laughs> Actually, it says, healed me. Hallelujah. O Lord my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. And yes, he heard me, or he went and healed me. Hallelujah. Just like uh, I claim for healing, I claim Psalms 103.3, Isaiah, I claim Isaiah, and I don't remember offhand because by Isaiah, what that's at, where that's at in Isaiah, but it, I remember Isaiah 55.11 says his word will not come back void. It will accomplish that thing that he sent it to do. Hallelujah. Thank you for that promise. Thank you for that promise. It should give you more excited. And then in, in, in uh, uh, 2 Peter 2.24, or 1 Peter 2.24, Huh, I don't know why, but I always say 2 Peter 2.24. By his stripes we are healed. Just like Isaiah says, by his stripes we were healed. That's what it is. By his stripes we have been healed. Hallelujah. Claim it. Claim it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And then we're going to look at Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13. Oh, it's back the other way. Dear Jeremiah, Jeremiah, I think Jeremiah is after, it is, is after uh, Isaiah. Jeremiah chapter 29, and verse 13, Jeremiah 29, 13. And ye shall seek me, and find me, when ye shall search with for me with all your heart. I'm going to read it again. And ye shall seek me and find me when ye shall search for me with all your heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I come to think of it, that reminds me of another uh, verse in, oh, I think it's 330 or 333. Is it 30? Let me see. 33? Let me look for that. 30. I'll tell you what it says, and you'll find it before I do. But, um, no, 30, 30, uh, 30, 31, okay. Okay, it must be 3.30. Maybe that's what it is. Let me look really quick for you. Because uh, it's very, 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 very important. It says, uh, um, ask me and I will show you great and mighty things. That's what it says. Hmm. I think it's a thirty, thirty-three, three. I think it's what it is. Ask me, ask of me, and I will show you great and mighty things. That's what it says. And I know I'm right around it, and. Uh, Yep, right here. <clears throat> Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Praise you, Father. Call upon me, and I will answer thee, and show ye mighty things thou did not, thou knowest not. I'm going to read that again because that's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Jeremiah chapter 33, 2. 
33 and 2. Okay? Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Wow, that is just awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you for sitting through my the study with me. It's just awesome. God's word is awesome. I love it. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, bless the airways, bless the internet that it goes out round and it goes out without any hiccups and that it goes out strong and it goes into every person that clicks on it. It goes to the correct person. It goes right to their heart, Father, that they will never be the same again. Hallelujah. 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 In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father.